Um, I know it's obviously a tough home stand for you guys, but um, the way you were able to at least take this one a little bit to the wide and have that quarter that really, really got away from you guys, what kind of improvements did you see uh, at least to get to the point in the fourth quarter? Again, I know it comes in a loss, so a little bit of sort of line, but you know, the first three games and being able to at least put yourself in position. To yeah, I mean, we couldn't stop Kobe White. Kobe White, Vooch, they had a good two-man connection going. Couldn't stop Kobe in the clutch. We get like three stops on Co on Kobe. We win the game. Um, but I just I feel like we right there. We we playing the right way. Um, we just got to capitalize off this, you know, just keep playing like this. I know we, there's obviously talking about the injuries and that stuff, but the lineups that you guys are going to have to have to go with right now, there's, it's obviously a lot of learning on the fly and experimentation. You know, what kind of strain does that kind of put on the team just to take one little misstep and then things kind of go awry? Uh, it's tough, you know, just messing with the lineups. You know, we got Cody at the PG spot. Uh, we just got to, I don't know, we just got to just continue to move the ball and just search out mismatches. You know, you really don't need a true point guard for real. <clears throat> I mean, you would love to have a true point guard to set everybody up, but with the position that we're in, we just got to search out mismatches and move the ball. You know, I feel like that's that's what we got to do. Um, and just and play hard on defense. We got to continue to play hard on defense. We got to just become a defensive team. Quick kind of touched on that, the stop of the ball in the fourth quarter. And it's not necessarily about talent, it's about technique and, and desire. I mean, how do you as a group, being shorthanded right now that we are, how do you guys internalize that message and try to make that? Uh, just talking, just knowing that we, that. The next man got your help. Um, I feel like we're not trusting each other enough on defense um, and not talking enough. That that comes with some of us being young, but at the same time, we've been doing this all year, so there's no excuse. So we just got to come out, play defense, um, and just trust each other. So you feel you guys are right there. Mm -hmm. Does that make a loss like this that much tougher to swallow, knowing that it's a possession here, a possession here? Yeah, for sure. We're up 10, uh, and then we have – we going going into the second second half. We let them go on a little run and catch back up, get their rhythm. Um, third quarter they came out firing. So we just gotta, like I said, it's just it's just like two minutes, three minutes that we that we play like somewhat bad, and then teams take advantage of it. So I feel like we gotta, like I said, we're right there. We just gotta capitalize on that stuff. Kind of going on that a little bit, like you said, you're up ten, you're forty nine left. It's a couple fast breaks. You have the opportunity to go up twelve, fourteen, but they don't really go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we just capitalize off that. We turn that ten to a fifteen, turn fifteen to a twenty. That's what good teams do, and that's that's that curve that we got to get over. You know, we got a little time lapse where we where we turn the ball over, let them get comfortable. I um, mean, we can't do that. You know, we don't have any room for error. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard, man. It's hard. You know, of course, everybody wants to win. Everybody on this team wants to win. Um, and it's hard, man. We're, we're, we're learning. We're, we're getting through it. But at the same time, I don't want to blame it on injuries, but it's it's hard when your main guy is not out there. Um, but that's no excuse. Like I said, we've been dealing with injuries all year, and we got to find a way to, to get a win, man. And obviously, not the way you do. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, I'm not saying we got losing DNA, but the way that, you know, we've been taking losses and just – I wouldn't say we're getting used to it, but it's like we're just moving on. We're not, like, really taking it that serious. We got to we gotta take it serious, man. I mean, Terry's getting a lot of backlash about what he said, but he's been in the locker room. He's been a vet in his locker room, and he sees what's going on. Um, so we just got to turn that into motivation. I was looking at clip going around from a couple games ago. You firing the guys up on the bench and talking to them. Just what are you saying to those guys? Uh, just take take care of every possession, man. Sometimes, like I said, when, when we go on when we go on those little runs where we're turning the ball over, not taking care of the ball, uh, defense elapse, we, we're, we're not we're giving possessions away. So I think I, I forgot what I said, but I, I was just trying to you know get us back right. And we right. talked about it last week, but you've not officially surpassed your hometown hero, Glenn Rice, and three pointers. So just how does that feel? Uh, it feels great, man. Um, Glenn Rice, like I said, Glenn Rice is a legend here. He did a lot, way more than I've done for this organization. Uh, so for me to pass him in threes and me not even being like a three-point shooter, 
Uh, it, it feels great, man. So shout out to Glenn Rice. Shout out to Flint.